hello my loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is shahida and if you're returning hello what's up how y'all doing today thank you guys for still being here tuning in with me on my journey as you guys can see from the title of this video we're talking about femininity and engaging in your feminine side and all of that good jazz i'm not gonna say that i'm a spiritual guru or like a feminist or anything like that but just trying to help you guys um tap into your feminine side and give you guys tips on what's helping me through my journey because i'm still going through the journey myself but i can tell you that i've came a long way and i just really wanted to share these few little tips with y'all and before we get into the video because i'm not gonna waste any time make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video up share with your friends tone around that post notification bell so you will be notified when i drop a video to get in touch with your femininity i feel like i feel like it's all about embracing and expressing your unique qualities as a woman and one of the first main objectives I feel like is confidence. You have to be confident in yourself in order to embrace anything. To me, inner confidence is when you start to work on yourself and do things for yourself. Find what brings you peace and happiness. Um, take time for yourself, meaning nurturing yourself physically, mentally, spiritually and emotionally and engaging in activities that make you feel confident and empowered whether it's pampering yourself practicing being more mindful or pursuing hobbies that you enjoy practice self-care that is an important part of gaining confidence and make it a priority self-care is all about doing things that recharge and rejuvenate you as a woman Go on a walk on a little nature trail. Become one with nature. Treat yourself to a nice little dinner. You don't have to always go out to dinner with friends or go out on a date. You can take yourself out on a date. You can go treat yourself to a nice little dinner. Um, get a good book. Find a good read. Um, listen to a podcast or watch a motivational speak on YouTube. I do that every morning. Every morning I am engaging with those motivational speakers not um like social media used to be the first thing that i would open up but now it is a motivational speaker is the first thing that i listen to in the morning time to get my mind right to kind of motivate me every single day because trust me you need that motivation um go work out or do more yoga do, do more stretching meditate a little bit take more relaxing bubble baths you know how us women like to do like do whatever that makes you feel like a feminine woman like just do what makes you feel good those relaxing bubble baths with the candles all around get you a good book and sit in the tub and read that like treat yourself to a spa day or a massage like and I feel like these acts of love and self-care will add to your confidence and radiate on to other people. Yeah, that's what we want, right? Compliment yourself and love on yourself. Be who you are. Be you. That is the most important thing. Embrace your femininity in whatever way feels authentic to you. But the most important thing is to not lose yourself by trying to act or pretend to be a certain way just to have more feminine energy it's all about finding what brings you joy and what makes you feel connected to your feminine energy set boundaries meaning don't allow toxic men and women into your life at all leave them in 2023 don't allow them in the your space in your life in your vicinity in your house in your car leave them leave them back there leave them in the past surround yourself with positive and supportive people who respect your boundaries and uplift your personal feminine energy 
build relationships with friends and loved ones who influences you, uplifts you, and celebrates your femininity, who also encourages your well-being as well as your growth. Know your worth. Understand your values and your priorities. Take time to truly reflect on what matters to you. Identify those values and set boundaries that align with them. Also understand that it's okay to say no when something does not add up to your expectations or when something does not align with your values or it feels overwhelming. Clearly express your needs and expectations with others. Let them know what is acceptable and what is not. We all know that communication is key but not just in relationships, but also in establishing and maintaining those healthy boundaries that you set. If you don't remember anything, and I'm gonna probably keep saying this throughout the video, but take care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. That is key. That is the most important. That's for anybody though, male or female. Allow yourself to be able to feel and express your emotions freely and authentically without being judgmental, without judging yourself or feeling like you're being judged. Be vulnerable with yourself and others and that makes people feel comfortable being vulnerable around you. You want to make people feel comfortable in your space, in your atmosphere, in your surround space. Like wherever you go, you want to make people feel attracted to you. You attract the people, the positive, the, you attract the positivity in others. Being vulnerable doesn't make you weak. I feel like it actually makes you stronger. Being vulnerable with yourself and your emotions is very hard as a woman. Journaling helps with this 100% of the time. Spend time with yourself, get to know yourself, try new habits, all of this will help you love yourself more. Embracing vulnerability and emotional intelligence can deepen your connection with your feminine energy. And it also helps you let go of the need to constantly be in that survival mode. Practice mindfulness. Cultivate mindfulness by being in the present moment and paying attention to your thoughts and feelings. Pay attention to the sensations around you. Engaging with your senses can help you in the present moment and embrace your feminine awareness. Take time each day to reflect on the things that you are grateful for. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding. That is important. Everything in this era and this time is all about you. You, you, you. Me, myself, and I. When you catch yourself getting overwhelmed or caught up in worries or stressing about things bring yourself back into the present moment recognize that it's okay to receive love and compliments and assistance without feeling guilty or unworthy of that shift your perspective from scarcity to abundance you have to believe that there is enough for everyone including yourself receiving doesn't take away from others but rather attracts a positive energy. You can radiate positive vibes and energy by focusing less on receiving gifts and money and things um, and, and um, materialistic things, but more on receiving success in life. Believing that you're meant what, believing that what's meant for you will be for you or what's meant for you is already yours. You just gotta claim it but that only works if you put thought and action into it they say well the bible says faith without works is dead so how are you supposed to achieve what you're trying to achieve without putting the work into it you gotta put in that work girl you got to put in that work last but not least recognize and celebrate your unique strengths and qualities that you possess as a woman remember femininity is a personal journey and it's about embracing what feels true to you. Enjoy the process of discovering and staying connected to your femininity and incorporating femininity into your daily life. You deserve to live a life 
that is in tune with positive feminine energy. Be patient with yourself and don't forget to celebrate the process you make along the way.